Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Uh, Disney's in trouble. Apparently, apparently they've been slapped with a uh, sexual harassment lawsuit. And apparently, Disney executives knew about this. and they Including didn't... Bob Iger. Including Bob Iger, yeah. And they didn't do anything about it. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. This isn't looking good. This is another another ding to Disney. So <laughs> there's a ding in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, God, ding dong. I know. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Um, thank you so much for the support. Go out to shopclownfish.com. Check out Crimson Wren Volume One and previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, both of them available for order right now. We're shipping them right now. Yep. If you order those books, they'll be shipped within a day or two of you ordering them. So it's not a pre-order campaign like no. before. Uh, other people took a chance on us. The books are done. They get shipped off to you. Like a real store. Like a real business. Uh, you know who's not running like a real business these days? It's, uh, Who? Disney. No. Disney. <laughs> Disney is not uh, running like a real business. This is coming from Deadline. Um Wow, lots of lots of places covering it. Uh, Deadline says Disney executives knew about egregious conduct by X Distribution VP and did nothing about it, according to a lawsuit. Okay. According to this lawsuit, so there's so, a. So please explain. Uh, Jane Doe filed a lawsuit. I don't think that's her real name. They did. They, they don't name her. No, they do not name her yet. Yeah, because she's the quote unquote victim. Okay. Yeah, so by 2022, many people in management were aware of Gonzalez's, this is, uh, he was the ex-VP of distribution, Nolan Gonzalez. Uh, they were aware of his egregious conduct and what he did to the plaintiff, alleges a sexual assault suit filed yesterday by a current Disney employee. That's why she's a Jane Doe. Mm -hmm. A current Disney employee against the Mouse House, its ex-VP of distribution, Nolan Gonzalez, and former Fox assets, and various former Fox assets. Plaintiff overheard a chairperson at Disney chairperson, say that Gonzalez was a pervert and that other women at the company felt the same way. Hmm. Even though individuals in management were aware of Gonzalez's conduct, they concealed their knowledge from human resources. Why? Well, because it would come out. We can't have, I'd say it would come out. We can't have <laughs> Disney, given everything that's going on right now, have another controversy like this. Um, they said the assault, the battery, and the retaliation and seven other claims suit was filed on January 2nd in LA Superior Court by Jane Doe, who is a near decade long staffer at Fox and now Disney. Uh, detailing lurid alleged conduct by former executive Gonzalez, the complaint spawns the one time supervisory level employees almost entire duration uh, at the now merged company from 2014 Okay, so onwards. What, what's going on? Uh, basically, he was a creep. They said, uh, getting explicit at times, the suit, read the sexual assault suit against Disney and Gonzalez here, lists nights, days, and years of aggressive touching oh. from almost the start of her time at Fox as an executive assistant. Um, things quickly escalated to Gonzalez allegedly forcing Jane Doe into ingesting illicit drugs and encouraged the plaintiff to consume excessive amount. See, I, I have to stop myself before reading the next word because I want to make sure we're not getting too uh, lewd for YouTube. Consume excessive amounts of alcohol so that he could abuse her with limited resistance, get her drunk and mm -hmm. uh, do the deed. Man, this is like a... So this person <laughs> came from, from Fox then. Yeah. And then Disney inherited the problem. They inherited the problem. You know, kind of like Harvey Weinstein. It's kind of the same. You know, but the thing is, Disney was aware... Of what Harvey was doing. Oh, yeah. That's what the one lawsuit's about that's going on now is that Julia Armand saying that they did know and they're saying yes. we didn't know. Yeah. So that's, I mean, this is like the second or third major lawsuit to come out. And they're basically saying that the culture at Fox and Disney is that the bottom line is worth any cost uh, and any damage. You know, they, they just, they're going to cover this stuff up. Disney does not want... But Another, they weren't covering up the bottom line. That's the problem. She was told to uncover her bottom That's line. That's right. That was the problem. Many employees, including those in management, were aware of his sexually harassing behaviors to women within the company and to others in the industry. Uh, in 2016, Planff was warned by the coordinator prior to the annual conference in Las Vegas to watch out for Gonzalez. Co the coordinator warned her by saying, I can feel it's going to be you this year. Well, then you don't, well, then you, you fire that fucker. I'm sorry. No pun intended. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> like so many jokes. I know, but. 
It said management was incentivized to hide his harassment because he generated valuable revenue as the director of distribution. I don't care. I don't care if you generated valuable revenue. If you're out there sexually harassing women to the point that, that if this is true, that they are warning people ahead of time that this guy's going to probably do something disgusting to you, then what the literal hell? Yeah, it said that there weren't many consequences. They got rid of him, I guess, uh, in, I want to say, the end of 2022. This guy during a round of layoffs. Um, they said three other women came forward to report Gonzalez for harassment. Uh, Gonzalez exited Disney or retired, according to the complaint, in November of 2022, with apparently not even a slap on the wrist. Uh, the it other, wasn't the wrist he was slapping. No, he, he wanted to slap some ass. Uh, but the big mouse glove. He put mm -hmm. a big mouse glove on and patted it. Um, yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. Uh, but the you shouldn't say that. But, but you know, the thing is, is that I'm also like, if this has been going on for years and everybody knew about it, and I look, I am not in any way condoning it at all. But I'm like, why are you still there? Well, why should everybody else have to leave? You mean the guy? No, she like yeah, I, I know, but okay. So like, say you want to work, you you you, you got worked really hard to get this job, and yeah. you worked really hard, and it's something that you really wanted to do. Why should she have to leave? Because he's a fucking asshole. Well, she should. I mean, the one who should have been gone was Gonzalez, especially if they knew about it. They're making jokes about it. They know that you're going to be the one who attacks this year. Yeah, but I would be like. I mean, yeah, I'd probably get sick of it and leave too. But what if you know? I'd be like, what the hell kind of Mickey Mouse operation are you running here? Are you probably Disney? thinking the company's going to like do something about it? You but would they, think. they you don't. Would think. Yes, and it's very. I guess my thing is like, it's very clear the company doesn't have your back. That it's come to this. This you person have to, had your back end. And I'm like, why are you still? Why did you not go someplace else? I mean, that's it's I mean, probably easier said than done. I yeah, know it's it is, probably easier said like, than done. Because it's like if you if this was like you worked really hard to get where you are. And, you know, you don't, you've worked there for years and you don't want to leave because you worked really hard. Then why should, why should the woman have to leave? Because the guy's a fucking asshole. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I probably would leave because I just wouldn't want to put up with it anymore. Um, I sure as hell would have filed charges if there was, you know, yeah. you know, things where there were drugs and alcohol giving to me without my consent or whatever. And things happen. I definitely would have gone to the police, but, um, I mean, I, I think she should have left, but at the same time, it's like, but why should she? He's the one, and they knew that he was doing it. Why shouldn't he have gotten gone? Well, okay, so he did get gone. They laid him off. They eventually. Said, eventually. They said uh, she took a medical leave of absence in December of 2022, which ended the beginning of last year, uh, about a year ago, 2023. She returned to find herself soon suffering a self-described demotion due to the April 2023 rolling layoffs in numerous departments that followed Bob Iger's return as a CEO. A supposed cold shoulder from Disney HR over, over, over a private office request due to her medical condition and diagnosis seems to have been the straw that broke her reluctance to push back. Well, that's like a year though. I mean, I'm medical leave of absence for a year. I mean, if you had cancer or something, maybe. Well, that might've been. I mean, it was it related I, to the situation. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure somebody could do some digging and find out who it was. Like, okay, female executive came with I'm not Fox. I'm going to out this person, but no, I'm just saying. No, but it's not going to be, I mean, for somebody that wants to do the like work. But I'm like, like this work, website so. is you're gone for a year for medical leave of absence. I'm like. I, I, I don't know. Um, they said, unlike some of the other cases, they're talking about the Paula Abdul thing. They said she may not be time barred. Uh, so this is going back to like 2014. I don't know what the laws are in California. Wait, so she, okay, this is going on since 2014. Yeah. This she is what, okay. She didn't leave. This is what she, I'm talking about. She has about. to take a year long medical leave absence. And then, then. she's mad because she didn't get private office. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Wait, is that what it was? Yes. She got mad because she didn't get private office. So she came back after her medical leave. Okay. And uh, they said that they wouldn't give her a private office. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. Someone's back broke. <laughs> but. I'm also like 10 years, almost 10 years. Why didn't you leave? Yes. I know, I get that. But the flip side is, why is it always the victim has to leave? Because the other guy's, oh, he's, he's a young dude, bro. But, but wait, wait, wait. He gets so, the sales okay. done. Okay, so let's look at the other. Why didn't they just do something about him before? If they all knew it. Exactly. Why didn't they do, one, why didn't they do something about him before? Two, um, she's going, I mean, going along with the, the bullshit. And I wouldn't have gone along with the bullshit, but maybe she didn't think she had a choice. But then the straw that broke the camel's back was you didn't get, you didn't a, private get a private office. office. Yeah, that's weird. I, I'm just like, I'm looking at this like, yeah, it's a little weird. Well, that's, that's I, mean, what... I don't know the details, but it's a little weird. I didn't give you a private office. and 
No, I don't get a private office. I'll share it with this asshole. I know, right? He wants to grope you all the time. No, he doesn't. That's the problem. He doesn't want to grope me, and that is the issue. <laughs> He's supposed to be being like, I gotta work. Clackety, clackety, clackety. Gotta edit these videos. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. And you're just harassing me. You just want me for my body. I do. Okay. I like oh. your brain too, but you know. Uh, anyway. But that's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. Uh, that's not the same thing. This is, I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking at this, like, look, this is obviously they're trying to keep this covered up because Disney at this point doesn't need more bad press, right? But I'm also kind of looking, and I, I do believe this guy's probably sleazy because there's a lot of sleazy people in Hollywood, believe it or not. There are a lot of sleazy people in Hollywood. But I'm also like, you put up with that for an awfully long time and you only left when you didn't get a private office? That's kind of weird. It is a little weird. But, That's a little weird. But what's really, but the, but beyond that, if if this was a pattern of behavior from this person and they knew about it and it was going on yeah, when they yeah. acquired Fox, when um, Iger was there, et cetera, et cetera, um, it's a little concerning that they let it go this long. Um, both at Fox before Disney got it. It sounds like they should have done yeah. something before Disney even had to deal with it. But this person didn't get canned because they knew they wouldn't get fired because they bring too much money. Yeah, well, it's, that's, I mean, and that's what they're saying. They said the the ongoing theme here is that uh, money means the most to the mouse. And and uh, if you get between Mickey and his cheddar, you know, it's not going to be pretty. But yeah, this is what they said in the, uh, in the suit. They said Disney used the rolling layoffs as an excuse to demote the plaintiff and place her on a different team where she did not manage any direct reports. Previously, plaintiff was a supervisory level employee who trained and directed three subordinates. Now plaintiff is sent... Uh, Plaintiff's essential job duties are much smaller in scope and are similar to duties she performed at Disney 10 years ago. So yeah, she got demoted. They're saying she got demoted because she complained about this guy. Um, at least they're saying that in the suit. Disney will probably argue while well, she took a medical leave and the company restructured. I'm so. very confused. So she was with Disney and then she got switched to Fox? Yeah, apparently she was at Disney and then she got switched to Fox and then she came back to Disney. If I'm reading I'm this correctly. I'm very confused. Okay, but anyway, like, okay, but they, she's been gone. She was supervisory level. She was ever seen police, but she was gone for more than a year. So they probably shifted those employees and put somebody else in charge of them until they came back. And then it's like, well, there's not a position where you were. So we'll put you, we'll pay you the same, but put you here or whatever. I, I'm not saying she can get paid the same. No. And that's why I'm kind of like a lot of companies, if you're gone that long. And I mean, it's unfortunate if you have medical leave. But they'll just get rid of you. They'll find, I mean, California is going to be harder to get rid of people, but a lot of companies, I know, they've gotten rid of, I've been at companies where they've gotten rid of, rid of women for being pregnant. You know, they're Which like, Which is not cool. I don't think that's cool, but they're like, Oh, you're going to be gone for a month or two? Yeah, okay, so is your job. You know, that's bullshit. Uh, it is bullshit. Well, I think there's laws against that in some states now. Some some states, not <laughs> probably not this one. <laughs> probably not. Um, but yeah, they bring up that they just had this other lawsuit that they were paying women less. So yeah, we know about that. We covered it. So I think that. You know, it's going to be with Disney again, a death by a thousand cuts. They're going to have, everybody's going to come forward now because, you know, these lawsuits. There's blood in the water. There's blood in the water. And no mouse meat. Mouse meat. <laughs> you know, she could make some, um, she could make some bootleg Steamboat Willie videos or something. There you go. Get back at him. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so there you go, guys. Another lawsuit for Disney. Another daily dose of Dismal Disney. This is actually the biggest Disney story today getting sued people love it this is the this is the thing people love disney getting their comeuppance like it used to be that <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so many jokes i know but i'm just saying like jokes, you know it used I mean. to be that people were like rooting for disney they're like yeah we want to know about the next marvel movie we want to know about the next star wars movie we want to know about the theme parks now they're like oh when's disney gonna die that's that's what we want to yeah. know about you know oh disney got disney got rolled again oh boy that's awesome let me get the popcorn that's what they're looking for they're looking for Bad news about Disney. I just, I mean, there's enough, you know, uh, anecdotal evidence to suggest that, you know, they knew that this guy was doing this and there was a problem and yeah. other people had complained and he had done it to other women too and they've come forward. I just don't understand why you put up with it for so long and then you go away for a year and come, then come back at, way after the fact. And you got, and then he's gone when she was, he, he got gone when she was gone, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. He he was gone the end of 2022, and she came back beginning of 2023. Yeah, so he, was, he got gone, like, so she left when he got gone. Yeah, and the straw that broke the camel's back was she didn't get a private office. And, and that's a she's demoted. Weird. And she's demoted. Not overseeing the three people that it, you had to have somebody else ever see while she was gone. So, look, the cynic in it's me. Just, it's just a weird. The cynic in me says she's ass mad that she got demoted and didn't get a private office. Now she's going to throw this 
this back in their faces. Flip side could be, I put up with that guy's shit. For this. And all that. And then I come back and then you're like, nope, you don't even get an office. We'll give you a pair of mouse ears and a t-shirt. You know, thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. You know? Whoa, well, whoa, whoa. He, That's got, not what the I meant. he got the t-shirt. That's not what I meant. That's, what That's he got. not what I meant. Uh, I, I don't know, guy. And like, look, I mean, do I think that there are creepazoids working on every level of Hollywood? Yeah, I absolutely do. Do I think she was harassed? Yeah, probably. You know? Um, do well, this goes beyond that. She's alleging that he was drugging her so that she could... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... It's just, again, just armchair observation. And again, this is the state of California. We've seen a lot of, you know, stuff go down in California in regards to workplace behavior and all that. It and is, a lot of the Me Too stuff. That... Yeah, it's, it's weird that, to me, to me, objectively... That the straw that broke the camel's back was, was she, the office. Was the office and the right. demotion. Not the guy that was harassing her. Because I would have bailed. I would have been like, I don't care if I live in my car. I'm not I'm not working here. You know, I'm not going to work here for eight I years. I just don't think it's right that the women have to bail because. No, they shouldn't have to, but I'm just saying. Skeezy asshole. But, you know, and apparently this is, I, I think what gets me is it's just. This is just accepted. I mean, they were totally cool with everybody knew Harvey Weinstein was a creep. Mm -hmm. But Disney's like, yeah, his movies are making money, so whatever. Yeah. Power yeah. to behavior. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.